off the press bar. We would like to take a moment to thank all of our seniors for their hard work and dedication to our program. We hope that you will look back and remember all the memories and relationships you have built over the last four years. We would also like to thank all the parents for the sacrifices you have made in order for your daughters to be a part of our program. We congratulate you and wish you all the best in your future endeavors. And now we'd like to introduce the members, our senior members of the girls varsity field hockey team at Hunter and Central. First up is number two, Marissa Bragg. Marissa started playing field hockey in the seventh grade. She plans to major in sports communication at a four-year university. In addition to field hockey at Hunter and Central Regional High, Marissa is an officer for the Connect Club community service chair for Operation Smile, serves as secretary for the class of 2022, and is a member of the National Honor Society. Marissa was also recently accepted into the Spanish National Honor Society. Marissa is a member of Desire to Lead, participates in unified basketball, and plays lacrosse. Her favorite field hockey memory would be Hype Squad, in the pouring rain at Vernon. Marissa is escorted by her parents, Kimberly and Stephen Bragg. Once again, that was number two, Marissa Bragg. Next, Red Devil Seniors, number four, Sydney Waldron. Sydney started playing field hockey in the fifth grade. She plans to major in business at a four year university. In addition to field hockey at Hunter and Central, Sydney is a member of Operation Smile, participates in unified basketball at the school, and also took part in organizing the first annual Laps for Lex with the help of her teammates. Sydney's favorite field hockey memory is cheering on the team in the rain at Vernon, doing discount day with her teammates, and going to all the places on the field hockey discount card. Sydney is escorted by her parents, April and Ed Waldron. Once again, that was number four, senior Sydney Waldron. Next Red Devil up is number five, senior Captain Jennifer Tokash. Jen started playing field hockey in the fifth grade. Her future plans include majoring in early childhood education and playing Division I field hockey at Ryder University. In addition to field hockey to Hunter and Central, Jen plays field hockey for the Princeton Field Hockey Club, is the fundraising chair for Operation Smile. She's also a member of the Connect Club and a member of the Student Athletic Leadership Training Club. Jen's favorite field hockey memory is winning sectionals during her sophomore year and celebrating with her teammates afterwards. Jen is escorted by her parents, Heather and Lance Tokash. And once again, that was senior captain number five, Jennifer Tokash. 
Next Red Devil senior up is number six, also a captain, Olivia Eichhorn. Liv started playing field hockey in the sixth grade. Her future plans include majoring in psychology at college. In addition to field hockey at 100 and Central, Liv is the vice president of the Connect Club, a member of Operation Smile, and participates in unified basketball. Liv's favorite field hockey memory is all of the pasta parties and riding the bus together. Liv is escorted by her parents, Catherine Eubank and David Eichhorn. And once again, that was your co-captain, number six, Olivia Eichhorn. And next up is number seven, also a captain, Sarah De De Stefano. Sarah started playing field hockey in the eighth grade. Her future plans are to major in biology while playing softball at a four-year university. In addition to field hockey at Hunter and Central Regional High, Sarah plays softball is a member of Operation Smile, a member of the Student Athletic Leadership Training Club, and a member of the National Honor Society. Sarah's favorite field hockey memory was playing in the pouring rain at Vernon. And Sarah is joined by her parents, Pam and Chris DiStefano. And once again, that was your captain, your other co-captain, number seven, Sarah DiStefano. Next Red Devil up is number eight, Emma Glass. Emma started playing field hockey in the fifth grade. Her future plans are to major in biology at a four-year university, ultimately pursuing a, a career in either the medical or vet, veterinarian, veterinary profession. In addition to field hockey at Hunter and Central Regional High School, Emma is president of the Environmental Club and the Student Animal Alliance Club and plays the viola in the orchestra. Emma's favorite field hockey memory is playing games at pasta parties. Emma is joined by her parents, Kathy and Bill Glass. recognize is Alexia Karpinski, who we tragically lost last year. Number 53, Alexia Karpinski. Lex started playing field hockey in the seventh grade. She planned on playing Division I lacrosse in college while studying exercise science and eventually becoming a professional athletic trainer. After college, Lex wanted to enlist in the military and give back to her country. She also wanted to be a lacrosse coach one day. In addition to playing field hockey, Lex was a member of the girls lacrosse team and played club lacrosse for T3. She played in a variety of select showcases, all-star games, and had the opportunity to play in both the Czech Republic and Germany. Lex was a member of the Connect Club, Operation Smile, and was currently working on her gold award in the Girl Scouts. Knowing Lex, her favorite memory would be winning sectionals her sophomore year, as well as spending time with her teammates. Lex was an amazing person who will always have a special place in our hearts. She was humble, compassionate, and genuinely a kind-hearted person who left an everlasting imprint on all of those who knew her. Once again, in memoriam number 53, Alexia Karpinski. Oof.
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, that was our seniors for 2021-2022 girls varsity field hockey. Nice job, ladies. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Senior Night here at Stewart Field. An emotional tribute to Lex Karpinski, who sadly passed away in the past year. As she's honored along with our six Red Devil seniors here. Jim Johnson along with Frank Pichota, as the Red Devils will host Hillsboro on what has uh, become an emotional night here at Central. Coach Jen Sponzo bringing out Karpinski's jersey and certainly emotional for all the girls who knew her well. And it's emotional for seniors, Frank Pichota, as it's, uh, you know, they, they're introduced here with their parents. It's, uh, it's kind of, a, it's kind of a, a happy time, but a sad time at the same token because the game they've played is uh, starting to wind down here at 100 and Central. Mm -hmm. Yeah, their time here has been very good, and some of them will continue to, to play in the college, and some will move on to bigger and better things. Real nice opening night tribute. We have a perfect night for field hockey here at Stewart Field. Temperatures probably around 60 degrees, a bit warmer than last night for the soccer field. Quite chilly last night, but a nice night. All the parents uh, honored with their daughters the game. And as now we see the three captains of the team on the field, three of our six seniors. So an emotional time for these girls, along with the uh, tribute paid to Lex Karpinski. But things will settle down here, and we will get on to some field hockey. Red Devils uh, playing better of late, for certain. They've won their last two home games, and that included a game last week, a victory over Voorhees. So, uh, so things are a little bit on the uptick here, Frank. Yeah, heading into this game, they're 5-8. and eight. Hillsborough coming in is 9-4, and four, so Hillsborough is a bit of a better record. But with how Central's playing, I expect them to hold their own here today. The team uh, a couple of years ago had that magical run to the state championship game, and they were merely a 500, actually a sub-500 team in the midway point. And in talking to some of the girls, there was uh, some hope that there's been a little bit of uh, positive signs of late and possibly that they could go on a little bit of a run. Again, a fairly young team here at Central this year as they lost a lot of players from last year's club, which went to the sectional quarterfinals. Again, the year before, they were state finalists before losing to uh, Eastern High School, the state power. So uh, probably not the best of the last three or four years, but uh, comes tournament time, and then things can get turned around in a hurry. Girls in their final huddle as they get ready. A lot of flowers uh, around for the parents. And a lot of talk of favorite memories of pasta parties. Hey, Frank, can you get me some pasta? I'm ready. I am so ready. I think I heard three of the favorite memories there were pasta. You look like a guy who enjoys pasta, I could, Frank. I could go for some pasta right I now I figured well. Frank Pichota probably likes a little bit of pasta. Yeah. Mr. Johnson always likes some, uh, some pasta, so... Uh, I see uh, some more parents getting back to the seats. And uh, final instructions to the fans, sportsmanship message. And in a moment, we will settle in and listen to our national anthem here at Stewart Field. Again, a pretty much a perfect night here for field hockey. Red Devils. At this time, we ask that you please rise 
Remember to remove your hats as we honor America and those who protect it with the playing of our national today. anthem. Our national anthem here at Stewart Field, and we are getting ready for some field hockey. Is that a full moon I see over there, Zach? Ooh, we have a full moon at Stewart Field, or pretty close to a moon. Do they, do they call that a waxing gibbous when it gets just a little? I'm looking at Frank, and he's got uh, a he's got I, a deer in the headlights look. Yeah. Do we have any uh, lunar experts up here, Maddie? No. Yeah, looks pretty full. Okay. And the Red Devils are coming on the field now. So you get ready to take the field here. Now we are ready to for the opening face-off here. Again, a beautiful night for field hockey. And that looks like senior Olivia Icorn to take the face-off for the Red Devils. She will put this one in play first. Central against Hillsboro. Raiders will take it from the near side in the opening seconds of tonight's senior night game here at Stewart Field Central against the Raiders of Hillsboro. Oh, here's a possibility for the Raiders now. A shot, and that is a Hillsboro goal, Frank. Not the way we wanted to start this one. Yeah, not even a minute in, uh, the Hillsboro player just took it down the side, right up towards the goal, and that was that was just a good shot. So Hillsboro, as we came in, had the better record, and a little bit of concern on that one here on senior night. And the Raiders get off to a quick start. We are just 43 seconds into this one. Red Devils already spotting. A one goal lead. Some pressure applied by senior Sydney Waldron. As we speak of Sydney, 
We'll try to talk a little bit about some of our senior girls tonight as we go along in this broadcast. Senior Emma Glass sends it back to Maria Ippolito. Oh, and there's a turnover. Hillsborough on the break here. Raiders moving down with the shot. But that will come back. Certainly Hillsborough has control the early part of play here Frank we are just two and a half minutes into this one Hillsborough once again applying pressure yeah that goal early uh, only 40 seconds in um, really gave them momentum right off the bat but I don't think Central's gonna let that let that get to them they're gonna they're gonna play hard so we hope anyway mm -hmm. I like that Frank I like that optimism you optimism in you buddy Imagine if we got a little pasta going, how optimistic things would be. So talking about our seniors tonight, we're going to talk uh, numerically. Number two, Marissa Bragg. As Marissa's play, been playing field hockey for the past six years. And what do you know, Frank? She's looking to major in sports communication. And in fact, Marissa had been talking to me recently about... Uh, Sign up here at HCTV so we may hear Marissa gracing the airwaves here in the next few months. Certainly hope so. It's senior year time. Let's go, Marissa. Let's go. She's also an officer for the Connect Club and a community service chair for Operation Smile and serves as a secretary for the senior class, the class of 2022 and a member of the National Honor Society. So a, lot, a whole lot of good things going for Marissa Bragg. But a lot of good things going for Hillsboro is the offense, again, putting some pressure here. Already their third shot, and we're not even four minutes in. Hillsboro has turned up the pressure right off the bat. Central will put it in play now. And here we go. This is senior Olivia Icorn bringing it down. Red Devils try to get on the move. Oh, nice play there by Waldron. Sydney Waldron, another senior. So a little bit of offense going now for Central. Going to set up a corner for Central here. This good opportunity to get back on, uh, get the score back even. Yep, Red Devils first shot, first real shot in this game. First opportunity, I should say. And here we go. Shot is taken. That was Jen Tokash. Goes wide and Hillsboro We'll put this one into play. We'll talk a little bit later about Jen Tokash, one of the more accomplished field hockey players during Coach Sponzo's uh, tenure here at Central, which I believe is 21 years, if I'm not mistaken. She is the dean of Central coaches. Hope I didn't pad too many years there, Coach, but. I'll be careful not to use the term elder statesman. And that's number 18, Caitlin Redman. Caitlin just a sophomore. So good things uh, expected from our uh, sophomore class, which includes both goalies, 
Kelly Weaver and Danica Pottinker. So a lot of uh, a lot of solid players coming back, but we will uh, we will certainly miss the six that are uh, playing here on Senior Night tonight. Not the last home game, mind you. you now the Red Devils have a game here against Pingree on Thursday night, and I believe there's one more home game after that, and then we'll see what the seeds are for the state. Although I'm not optimistic we'd be getting any home games in the state tournament, but one never knows. Oh, it's a little whirl there, Frank. That's something we don't often see in field hockey. No, and then a whistle was called on Hillsborough, and Central picked up the pace, but got stolen there. That was Jennifer Tokash. Spinning around. Pirouetting, maybe? What do you think? That was a pirouette? Redmond will put this one into play. Lobs it down, but it is coming back. No, there's a steal there. That's Maria Ippolito to Tokash. I think we're going to get another corner here, Frank. Yeah, hopefully this one goes a little bit better than the last one. Last one got away and didn't really have a good shot opportunity. See if they can keep it smoother and get a good shot up. So we are just over seven minutes to play in the first quarter. one nothing Raiders lead on an early goal in the first minute of this game. Central looking for the equalizer here. But they can't control it. Take that back. It's going to come back, and Tokash will have it. But the Raiders battle for the loose ball, and they bring it back the other way. Down come the Raiders. Nice defense there. That was uh, senior Emma Glass on the steal. That's Victoria Stefanik, number 12. Back come the Devils. Cannot quite get it up to Waldron. And as I speak of Sydney Waldron, one of our seniors, Sydney playing in her eighth year of field hockey. She plans to major in business at a four-year university. And more on Sydney in a minute, as it looks like now Hillsborough has a corner. So an opportunity here for the Raiders. Just under five minutes to go in the first quarter. So they look to add to that one nothing lead. Here's a shot. And it'll go back Central's way. We were talking about Sydney. Sydney Waldron, also a member of Operation Smile, and she participates in Unified Basketball, a wonderful program we here have here at Central. And Sydney was instrumental in organizing the first annual Laps for Lex. As we mentioned, uh, Lex Karpinski passed away in the past year. And Lex uh, would have been in this senior class. And there was a nice tribute to her before tonight's game. Here's a chance for the Raiders. Kick the side. Kelly Weaver turns that one aside. 
So, Sydney, one of her favorite memories is cheering on the team in the rain and burning. Frank, what do you think about being in the rain as being one of your favorite memories? Personally, it wouldn't be one of mine, but uh, then again, that's just me. So. You, are you a Giants fan? I am a okay, Giants fan. Okay, so you're a Giant fan. The game's raining. I'm, I'm not seeing that being a, a pleasurable experience, being at Giants Stadium. Not now, a pre- pleasurable experience at Giants Stadium anyway lately. So. Yeah, that's correct. Now, my team plays game. indoors. But they never win the Detroit Lions, so it's uh, so it's completely irrelevant. Climate control, that part's all good, but the winning part, that's a different story. But back to field hockey, that's why we're here. A little over three minutes to go in this first period. Hillsborough scoring in the first minute of this game, and they're looking for another one. Here's a chance for the Raiders. Oh, nice wow. stop there by Weaver. Thought they had one there, Frank. I thought they did too. Weaver, along with the, the central defenders, really made a good stop there. I thought Hillsborough was about to score another one. Victoria Gardner sends it down. where Hillsboro will take it on the far side. Raiders looking to get some offense going. Add to that one nothing lead. Just over two minutes left in this first quarter. Gardner will bring it out. Excuse me, Stefanik. Not sure where I got Gardner from. Did he play on the Red Sox, Gardner? No, nah, no Gardner's on the Red Sox. There's Brett Gardner on the Yankees, but Ah yeah. I, you know, I typically don't refer to Yankee names. <laughs> Sorry, Victoria, if I called you Gardner. It's Stefanik. A little over a minute to go here in the first quarter. Don't worry, Frank. I'm not going to harp on the Yankees tonight. <laughs> it's all right. Mets are – neither will I about the yep. Mets. They're... Golf courses are busy around here with Mets and Yankees. And here's a chance for Hillsborough. Weaver comes out and kicks it out. Smart play there, going up to just kick it, not letting it get any closer to the goal. But it comes right back. Yeah, by all accounts, the central goaltending has certainly improved. They're uh, both goaltenders, sophomores coming in, so very young. But in talking to coach and the players, they're very pleased with uh, how things have developed during this season. The Red Devils really didn't know what to expect coming in, and there's probably been a little more downs than ups that does happen. But uh, things have been certainly more positive of late. Here a corner, though, for Hillsborough with 20 seconds left and a chance to add to that one nothing lead. Nice defense there. That was Laney Linett. And things are winding down, and we have reached the end of the first period of play here at Stewart Field. Red Devils trail one nothing here, Frank. What did you think about that first period? Uh, well, the first minute, I feel like, kind of summarizes how that went. Got the quick goal, put Central down, and really for the rest of the quarter, Hillsborough was on the attack, but Central hold, held their own for the last 14 minutes, not letting up another one. See if they can even the score in the second quarter. Yeah, this is a hard sport to allow that early goal. Typically not a lot of scoring, maybe a little more than soccer. But uh, you allow that first goal, sometimes that can just take the wind out of your sails. Not really the case, though. The, the Red Devil girls did rebound here. And this a busy week here on the HCTV live stream. And thanks for joining us tonight. Tomorrow night, we've got Red Devil boys soccer. Red Devils last night advanced to the 101 County uh, Finals. 
as they downed Newton last night in a hard-fought 2-1 win. Red Devils back to Skylands Conference play on uh, Wednesday night, tomorrow. Central will play Wachung Hills. And then the football Red Devils return after uh, being on the road the past couple weeks. Casey Ransone's club will face Edison this Friday homecoming. So hopefully all you Red Devil fans will be able to make it out here. I think the forecast looks pretty good, Frank. And it'll be homecoming. We expect a big turnout here. But certainly if you can't make the game, join us here on the live stream. Homecoming dance afterwards too, right, Frank? Yeah. Help me out with this one. So where are they doing this dance this year? Uh, they're doing it outside of the school in a tent. In the tent. All in right. Tent. So it's a little less formal is my understanding this yeah, year. Yeah, going to be a little cold that night, I think, too. So. Okay, so talk to me, Frank. Sport coat? Yes, no, or what? What I'm wearing right now is sweatshirts and sweatpants is what mm. I would wear. but Going cash. Yep. Frank Pichot, a man of leisure. I like it. <laughs> I'm kind of a man of leisure myself, Frank, so you're in good company. Anyway, the dance will take place right after the game, right over on, I believe, on the softball field under the tent, so something new this year, obviously, in the uh, – in the crazy world of COVID, uh, you know, you just have to kind of keep reinventing things and kind of figuring out solutions. And uh, weather permitting, that seems like a pretty good one. Hopefully uh, everyone out there will be able to join us here on the live stream if you can't make the game. Again, that kickoff is at 7 o'clock. Senior night festivities and one of the field hockey players, Olivia Icorn up for Central Homecoming Queen. We'd be excited about that. She was asking me to put out the good word, but I can't really do that since we got to look out for all the students here at Central. But I know she's excited about that opportunity. Another senior we want to uh, talk a little bit about is the captain, Jen Tokash, one of the more accomplished players, as I mentioned earlier, in Coach Sponzo's tenure. She started playing field hockey in the fifth grade, and she's been playing here in the varsity. She was a, a member of that team that went to the state championship game against Eastern. Jenna's going to play Division I field hockey, Frank. That's quite the accomplishment. Very impressive. She will be uh, right down the road at Ryder University, which I'm sure uh, is exciting for her family so they can go watch her play and Maybe her former teammates will probably be able to check her out as well. In addition to field hockey, Jen also plays field hockey for the Princeton Hockey Club and was a fundraising chair for Operation Smile and a member of Connect Club. So a lot going on for her. And as she mentioned, one of her favorite memories was winning the sectionals as a sophomore member of that, uh, that team that Accomplished great things here at Central. Just under two minutes into this second quarter. Raiders on the move. Down goes Maria Ippolito. Oh, here's one in front. Chance for Hillsborough. That's Glass for Central, the senior, looking to clear things out. Raiders will put it in play on the near side. Back to midfield as they set things up. 12 minutes left in this first half here on senior night. Stewart Field here on the campus of 100 and Central. Beautiful night under a full moon. Red Devils trailing 1-0 to the Hillsborough Raiders. There.
There's a whiff. And that's Stefanik. We'll put it in play. Ticking down to 11 minutes to go here in the second period. Hillsborough has had most of the opportunities in this game. Had a couple good ones. Kelly Walker, a couple nice saves for the Red Devils. But again, the Raiders did score in that first minute of this game. I think it was 43 seconds in. And now the Red Devils are in the comeback mode. All right, here come the Red Devils, bringing it down. Stefanik keeps it in. Enjoyed a couple uh, week or so ago. Maria Ippolito, while she was injured, recovering from a concussion, joined us during uh, the Wachung Hills game and gave me quite the, the primer on the sport. So, Frank, when you watch some of these games in college, they play on a very hard surface, harder than this. The game moves fast. And uh, Maria was quite informative that day. Unfortunately, I didn't take great notes. <laughs> Coach DeFazio has joined the press box scene. And I hear a couple laughs out here. Coach Tristan DeFazio will be our new boys basketball coach this year at Central. Always good for a good one-liner or two. Shot by Central uh, by Hillsborough. Stopped by Kelly Weaver. The swat down and kick. That was nice. Effective there. Very effective. Good save by Weaver. Sarah DeStefano playing some good D on the far side. Sarah also a senior, and we'll talk about her in a couple minutes. Sarah's days here as a field hockey player will be winding down, but she excels on the softball diamond. So big things are expected from Sarah and the Lady Red Devils when we get to the spring, but that's a lot of athletic events away right now. Shot by the Raiders goes wide. We are at the midway point here of the second period. There's a stop there at Sydney Waldron. There's Emma Glass sending it down. Hillsborough able to keep this one in. There's Icorn, number six for the Red Devils. Amanda Walker, the junior, sending it down for Central as the Red Devils try to get set offensively.
DeSefano is scrapping for the ball on the far side. That's Icorn. Six minutes to go here in the second quarter. That very, very early goal by Hillsborough holding up right now. Riggers looking for their ninth win of the season tonight here at Stewart Field. There's the Red Devils on the far side. Bringing this one down. It's Ippolito scrapping for the ball. She's got it. Good job there by Maria Ippolito. Sent down. That was the sophomore, Caitlin Redman. And that one golfed ahead as Hillsborough comes back on the offense. Oh, here's an opportunity. Raiders full force, but that one just wide. That looked a little dangerous there, Frank. I thought Hillsborough had something working. Yeah, they, they were flying with the ball right down the, the middle of the field. Looked like they had something, but nope, went a little wide. Oh, stolen there, not good. Rolls out of bounds. Central catches a break there. Got caught off guard there by Hillsborough, sort of surprising them on the pass. Yeah, big break. I thought that was uh, more trouble. Central just can't get too much going offensively. That's Waldron battling for the ball, as is Redmond. Stefanik fights for that one. I think we have, I think we got a corner here, Frank. Yeah, I believe a whistle was called on Stefanik, which will now set up another corner here for Hillsborough. Had a couple of them so far, haven't been able to capitalize. Indeed, they will have another chance here as we hit the three minute mark in this first, or in the second quarter. Three minute mark left in the first half. And here's the Raiders. Here's a chance. Stefanik, good defense there. Yeah, great to get the stick in there because Weaver wasn't set in the goal. She came out a little bit, but Stefanik was able to stop it. Less than two and a half minutes to go here in the second period. Red Devils put this one into play. Stick around at halftime and we're gonna listen to those Red Devils seniors talk about their favorite memories here at Hunterdon and Central. And again, we will run that during halftime here, when we take a little break, we'll hear from our six Red Devil seniors.
Stefanik on the far corner. Put this one into play. Stolen away by the Raiders. Here's a chance. The shot. It's a goal for Hillsborough. Off the steal, the Raiders score. We've got just one minute and 17 seconds left in the second quarter. Suddenly, Hillsborough with a 2 0 lead. Yes, yeah, Stefanik passed that one in. It got stolen, and Hillsborough went right at the goal and made it 2 0. Unlucky there. Raiders scoring very early in the first half and very late in the first half. And those bookend goals are providing this two goal difference as we hit the one minute mark. The Red Devils are a perfect 2 0 here on the HCTV live stream, but that record in jeopardy right now. And I'm sure that was important to them in their pregame talk. Icorn applies pressure. And that's Redmond. To Waldron. Twenty seconds and counting. Thought Tokesh had something there. They're in a hurry. They know there's not much time left in this one. Less than 10 seconds. Tokash on the steal. Let's see if she can make something happen. And Hillsborough will be able to run this one out. And that's what they do. We have reached halftime here, Frank. 2 nothing in favor of Hillsborough. Any thoughts about that first half of play? Uh, well, after that uh, early goal in the first quarter, uh, Central, while... Uh, Hillsborough had a lot of shots on goal. They were really able to bend but not break, keep it a one-score game, but with that goal with just over a minute left, that was a real killer going down two. They can definitely still make it up, but the offense is definitely going to need to apply more pressure. Certainly Hillsborough uh, controlling much of the offense in that first half. I wouldn't quite say dominant, but uh, certainly one-sided enough that that reflects in that 2 nothing. Hillsborough lead as we reach halftime. We're going to take a little break here at Stewart Field, but stick around as we will listen to some of the Red Devil seniors, all of the Red Devil seniors, in fact, wax poetic about their times here at Central. I've definitely had a ton of fun on the team. It's a lot of hard work, but at the end of the day, it's all worth it because you get to spend every day with coaches who we love and teammates who we love, and I think it's just always worth it at the end of the day, no matter how hard a practice or a game is. I think I'm just going to remember how much of like a family we always felt like and just our dynamic on the team and how we all always are so close and just how we all play together and work together as a team. Oh, it's been unbelievable. I've made some of the best friends going through this program all four years, and I've definitely had some seniors that I've looked up to when I was underclassmen that I still am best friends with now. I definitely think I'm going to remember uh, a few weekends ago we won in double overtime versus Belvedere coming in as the underdog. I think that will definitely be a, a memory I'll remember, or my sophomore year when we won in Vernon. I wasn't even playing, but just the the way that the girls were and just like how happy they were and how they wanted to be there so much and how the, the sidelines were so electric and we just wanted to win and we got the job done. Looking back on my four years of hard field hockey, ever since freshman year, we've all created like such a bond with each other. Um, just like coming from the summer, you, you have friends just going into school and it's already this community and family that starts ever since freshman year and I know that I can look at my upperclassmen who are in college now who's who have already graduated and the underclassmen and I just know I'm going to be close with them forever and we always have that bond. 
I have really great memories here, both from on and off the field. Um, I think some of my best memories on the field would definitely be like the big wins we've had. I feel like we're a lot closer than other sports programs in this school because our JV and varsity teams are both, we practice together and as varsity we have to go to the JV games and JV has to come to varsity and I think just the team like bond we feel um, has been so strong and I think that's something I'll definitely remember many years from now. I would say central field hockey something that I brag about is like just the culture and how all our girls are so close together and we definitely get that from the coaches they have taught us how we are really a family here and how to treat each other and we all just get along so well and it's really fun. So winning sectionals at North Hunterdon my sophomore year, which was two years ago, and also the Vernon game, um, it was like two hours away, it was downpouring, it was really like bad weather, but it was such a fun time because we had, our, we had a hype squad is what it was called on the sideline, and the girls were just cheering us on and we ended up winning. It's been a really great experience. I love how close the teams are on every level, especially how close JV and Varsity are. I'm going to remember the fun bus rides that we have after winning a game, all the fun pasta parties that we have, and just team bonding and everything about it. It's just amazing. And we hope you enjoyed hearing from our Red Devil seniors. At halftime, as we get ready for second half action, Central trailing this one 2-0 as the Raiders scored in, in the first minute of this game and kind of set the tone offensively. Be nice if Central could uh, apply a little pressure right off the bat and kind of get a goal right back. You sort of get the feel, Frank, they don't want to spot any more goals here. Th three might just be sort of a death now. Yeah, three's tough. Uh, two nothing to start the second half. They're down but not out. They can absolutely come back. The offense just needs to get more shots. They only have one shot on goal right now. They got to get a couple more to get some goals on the board. And Junior Laney Lineot will put the ball into play right in front of us here on this beautiful night under the full moon. If I haven't mentioned it already, a perfect fall evening here at Hunterdon Central. Stefanik battles for the ball. I mentioned earlier uh, about some of the seniors. Another senior is uh, Captain Olivia Eichhorn, number six of the Red Devils. Olivia has been playing field hockey since the sixth grade. And uh, as I mentioned, Olivia is up for homecoming queen, which uh, homecoming at the football game will take place this Friday. So best of luck to her. Her future plans include majoring in psychology at college. And in addition to field hockey, Olivia is the vice president of the Connect Club and a member of Operation Smile. She also participates in unified basketball. Her favorite field hockey memories are those pasta parties. Frank, we're back to pasta. Man, we keep hearing about them. The more I want pasta. Absolutely. I, I, know, I know for sure. I've uh, kind of worked up a bit of an appetite tonight. And of course, uh, Olivia mentions how they like to ride the bus together. There's a lot of great stories and a lot of great memories for our student athletes. And that's all part of the uh, bonding experience. Experience not looking good right now as Hillsborough applying the pressure. It comes back out. We are two minutes into this third quarter. Senior night at 100 and Central. So far, the Red Devils have not been able to put that one in the cage. I learned that from uh, Maria, in the cage. But the Red Devils have not been able to do that yet. They trail 2-0. So I did take a couple notes, Frank. Took a couple. Down goes one of the Hillsborough players. Yeah. 
kind of a melancholy time for some of the parents here too, the senior parents, as their days of uh, going to many, many games through the years coming to an end. As we mentioned, uh, Jen Tokash will continue her career at Ryder. I don't believe any of the other five seniors, though, are looking to play next year. Sarah DiStefano uh, looking to play softball in college, and she is an excellent pitcher for a Red Devil softball team. Corner now for Hillsborough. Opportunity to add to this lead. Shot by the Raiders. Knocked down. Good spot down by Re uh, Weaver. That's an interesting position, field hockey goalie. She plays it well, though. Yes, yeah, she does. They don't look like there's much, too much mobility. The padding and so forth, which all makes sense. Ippolito put this, puts this one in for the Red Devils, sends it toward the goal. Oh, here's a chance for Central. But no. Pushed aside and out we come. Check out that football game last night, Frank. Yeah, tough one uh, for the Bills there. But. That was an excellent watch. Buffalo losing to Tennessee. At Derrick Henry something, isn't he? He's very good. Oh, there's a shot Ooh. just wide. Fortunate for Central. Good opportunity there by Hillsborough just shooting that one wide. Unofficially, our shots on goal are sitting at 14 to 1 in favor of the visitors. And if you look at those kind of numbers, Frank Bashota, I think Central fortunate just to be down 2 0. Yeah, 2 0 is pretty good for letting up uh, 14 shots on goal. Kelly Wait Weaver to... having a solid game yeah. in the cage. Now the Central offense trying to get something going. Set in front. About eight and a half minutes, just over eight and a half minutes ago in the third quarter. I'd say this period has been a bit of a draw, but that's not what you want if you're central. Down by two. Red Devils try to get going offensively. Number one, Laurel Hanrahan sends it down. Oh, good play there. That one kept in by Stefano. Sends it down. Tokash can't get a shot off as Hillsborough comes back. Now the Raiders on the move. Here's a chance for Hillsborough. Oh, nice play there. It was Emma Glass. Look, that was going to be a two on one there. Frank, I didn't like the odds. No, that was not looking good. She played good defense there, kind of baited her into the pass and was able to. 
knock it away. And we'll talk more about senior Emma Glass in a moment. Another one of our six seniors here honored prior to tonight's game. That's Laney Linet sending it down. Here's Tokash on the steal. Jen Tokash bringing, brings it down. Oh, shove there. Stefanik. Ippolito. Nice thought there by DeStefano centering that one. Can't be controlled by Central. Hillsborough able to clear it. As I mentioned, Sarah DeStefano. She started playing field hockey in just the eighth grade, so just her fifth year. But Sarah was on this varsity team as a sophomore. So obviously a uh, pretty elite athlete here at Central. She picked up the game that fast and made the varsity team, that state finalist team, as a sophomore in just her third year of playing this sport. And this is a different game. You know, it's a, there's a lot to learn, and there's a lot of nuances to field hockey. Sarah's plans are to major in biology while playing softball at a four-year university. And there's Sarah with the ball. Would have, would have tied into this nice, Frank, if we had a goal, right? Yeah. She's also a member of Operation Smile and a member of the Student Athletic Leadership Training Club and the National Honor Society as well. Another one, Frank, her favorite memory, playing in the pouring rain at Vernon. By golly, playing in the rain. They must have had some good games in the rain. For I guess be it's in. better to play in the rain than watch in the rain. Yeah, maybe. As uh, one of the voices in the press box just said, unless you're up here in the press box. It's always cozy up here in the press box, right, Ben? We're one big happy family up here. So the Red Devils get the offense moving. Or trying to, anyway. This is the time of year when it's good to be up in this press box. I see the parents all bundled up down there. Last night I saw a lot of ski hats. Here's a chance for the Red Devils. Can't quite control it. Under four minutes to go in the third quarter. Tokash. Here's a chance. Nice try there by Jen Tokash, but that went well wide of the Hillsboro cage. I'm throwing that term cage around like yeah. I know something, huh? <laughs> that was just Central's second shot attempt of the game, and we're just over three minutes left in the yeah, third quarter. Yeah, that one was well wide. Yeah. Good effort by Jen, but it really wasn't uh, really wasn't close. Need something to get it going, but uh, last night in the soccer game here, similar circumstance, the Red Devil boys soccer in the semifinals of the HWS tournament led this one 2-0, and Newton scored with about four minutes to go in this game, and all of a sudden they were playing with a sense of urgency, and it got uh, quite interesting there at the end. We should hope for similar fortunes this time our way today. But you got to get one before you can get two. Mm -hmm. I learned that in math class. And here's a chance for Hillsboro. And I think we're going to have a corner here. The clock ticks down to two minutes to go in the third period. Nope, not a corner, but it will be Hillsboro ball. Should 
sure the Raiders are relatively content just to let this clock keep moving with a two goal lead. But of course, a third goal, three is better than two. De Stefano with a steal. Sarah brings it down, sends that one in front for Waldron, but Hillsborough able to steal that one. I thought we had a little senior magic there. De Stefano to Waldron. Sarah with a nice steal. But Hillsborough able to thwart any offensive effort. Stefanik hustles over but can't keep it in. So Hillsborough ball as we hit the one minute mark in the third quarter. Far side, the Raiders applying pressure. They have scored in the first minute of the game and the last minute and a half of the, the first half. Those goals have been all the scoring here. So we are now 30 seconds left in the third quarter. And if anyone's gonna score in this quarter, it's gonna be Hillsboro as they have the ball on offense. Down to 15 seconds. Corner opportunity for Hillsborough, so looks like the time's gonna run out, but I but believe they're still gonna get the corner. They so. will, yes indeed. So Hillsborough will have a possession here, sort of like an untimed down in, uh, in football, Frank. Central will look to just to kind of kill this one off. Raiders with a shot. They still have it. Central needs to get possession and send it down. And they do. So that will bring an end to this third quarter. Kind of more of the same for Central. Hillsboro controlling play, not in a dominant fashion, but certainly controlling play. And they uh, will bring a 2-0 lead into this final quarter. And we will then mention our last Red Devil senior, the last of the six. And that is senior Emma Glass, number eight. Emma started playing in the fifth grade, so she is an eight-year field hockey player. And her future plans are to major in biology at a four-year university. She's ultimately looking to pursue a career in either the medical or veterinary profession. And in addition to field hockey here at Central, Emma is president of the Environmental Club and the Student Animal Alliance Club. And I did not know this, but Emma plays viola in the orchestra. Very cool. So uh, in my world, that's almost like a two-sport athlete as I know these musicians put an awful lot of time into their craft. So Emma, we will see her certainly at the, uh, at the upcoming concerts. And those holiday concerts are right around the corner as we have now hit the 19th of October. So man, Frankie going out trick or treating still? Nah, not for me. Passed over that. Yeah. I guess it's six foot Two or Six so? foot three. Yeah. Six foot three. It might not be good if be you stop. A little weird, it. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think when I was a teenager, I think I maybe pushed the envelope to 13 or 14, but that was about it. But that was back in the old days. Emma's favorite memory, by the way, she's playing games at pasta parties. There's that term again, pasta. I may not make it home tonight. I might have to stop at uh, one of the local places to get my share pasta before this is over did not know that was going to be in my mind today but uh pasta and playing in the rain Frank, those are things we learned tonight yeah been hearing an awful lot of that tonight who the giants have this week you haven't given up yet have you 
Oh, I, yeah. I think it's over. <laughs> I think it's over. We're what, six weeks in and season's wrapped up. I tell you what, that Dallas game on Sunday was something. That was a good game. I was disappointed by the outcome. But oh, man. That was uh, that was back and forth. That was exciting football. And I really wasn't stolen in the uh, Cowboys yet, but I think they're uh, – I think they're pulling ahead of uh, of the other three teams who are kind of in the mediocre mode, mediocre or worse. But back to field hockey here at Stewart Field. Enough of that football stuff, Frank. Don't get me off topic here. We start things up in the fourth quarter. Red Devils trailing this one by the count of 2-0 against Hillsborough here on senior night. And if you missed it, Certainly check out the live stream later. Look back at the opening uh, ceremony as Sarah DeStefano, the senior, brings it down. Sarah trying to get something going for the Red Devils on offense. Here's a chance. Tokash in front. That's going to be a corner. I think this is the best opportunity they've had in the second half here. They would love to get a goal up here. Yeah, they really need something to, to break right now, Frank. Hopefully this one goes better than their, their previous two or three attempts here. So here we go. That one's sent in front. Tokash with some stick work. Ball goes wide. So nothing doing there for Central. But again, if you missed our the pregame tonight, a nice uh, ceremony honoring the six Red Devil seniors and their parents. And a very nice solemn tribute to Lex Karpinski who passed away in the past year. As Coach Sponzo brought her jersey out, an emotional moment here for the Red De Devil field hockey team as it was uh, for the lacrosse team. Lex also was a goalie on our central lacrosse team. So a very uh, sad experience, but a nice tribute to Lex tonight. And now we're two minutes into the final period. Central can't, just can't get anything going. It looked like a possibility there in the first minute of this final period. But Hillsboro certainly at this point content just to work that clock right down. Yeah, uh, Central only has three shot attempts. A couple of them really haven't had a chance to go in and Hillsborough has been playing really good defense around the goal central in the chance that they've gotten to get it down towards the Hillsborough goal uh, Hillsborough has been able to steal it right away and not let up a shot shot attempt so yep just haven't been able to make it happen mm -hmm. time becoming a bit of a factor now for Central if it hadn't been already as we are just about at the 12 minute mark of this game and again, the Red Devils need two goals for the equalizer. Stefanik tries to keep it in. Raiders pull this one out. Now Central comes back to Stefano. But the Raiders take it away. Now down to 11 minutes to go in this one. Red Devils almost hitting that point of desperation now. Got to get something moving here as they send it down, but Hillsborough certainly content to keep the clock moving. There's a seal. Steal by Stefano. She sends it in front, looking for Tokash, who's not there. But Tokash battles for it. She takes it away. Jen Tokash brings it down. Here's a chance for Central, but not able to control it.
Here come the Red Devils offensively. Tokash scraps for that one. Hillsborough retains possession. We're down to nine minutes and 40 seconds left in this final period. As Hillsborough looking to ice this one, and they'll have a chance. Shot goes in front of the net. Here's a chance. Hillsborough not able to control it. Nine minutes left. Here come the Red Devils. It's De Stefano on the near side. She looks in front for Tokash, but she's not there. And back come the Raiders. The De Stefano Tokash duo will be two players. The, the Red Devil field hockey program will sorely miss. Three year starters here at Central. Both with very nice careers. And again, we'll still see Sarah on the softball field. I think Jen's also a lacrosse player. But she will uh, be a field hockey player in college again. A Division I athlete, and that is not easy to do. She'll be playing at Ryder. Here come the Raiders in front. Stefanik battles for that one. Going to be another corner attempt for Hillsborough. I mean, if they put one in here, I think this one's all but wrapped up. Yeah, as we're down almost halfway into this fourth quarter. 745 and counting, and Hillsborough with the corner. Nothing doing there, but here's a chance for the Raiders. In front. Central able to clear it. Nice stick work there by Eichhorn. That one sent down. That was Marissa Bragg, the senior. Bragg steals it away. Marissa will, she's a lacrosse player in the springtime, so her athletic career not finished here at Central. And that one goes behind the cage. Now six and a half to go. Central trailing by two. Outshot 16 to three in this game. Yeah, when you look at the shot chart, you think it wouldn't be a 2 nothing game. 16 shots on goal and only letting up two. I think it's a yep. pretty good showing by the defense. Now a solid game by Kelly Weaver, for sure. As well as the Red Devil defense, no question. That early goal there by uh, Hillsborough just really set the tone in the f first 45 seconds of it. Stefano battles for that one. Raiders will certainly take their time. Now we're less than six minutes to go as they bring it back. And no hurry to really do anything right now. Here's a chance for Central. Tokash works for it. But Hillsboro with possession. Raiders send this one down as they look to pad that lead. And they'll have a chance here. Nice play there by Lynette. Laney Lynette 
some good defense, keeping this one at just a two-goal deficit for Central. But a corner here for Hillsborough. Four minutes and 40 seconds and counting. Shot by Hillsborough. Ooh. They just club that one well wide of Kelly Weaver. Stefanik gets it. And of course, Central now in a big hurry to get something going. Bragg tries to clear, but Hillsborough keeps it in, and they'll have a chance. Good stop by Weaver. Another one. Unfortunately, Central does not want to be on defense at this point of the game. My first Captain Obvious moment. I was due. Under four minutes to go in this one. This one starting to look like a very long odds for the Red Devils here. Just over three minutes to go, trailing by two. Not really able to mount any offensive pressure here. Hillsborough quite content to keep it down here. It's to Stefano. Scraps for the ball. Sarah sends it out. Back to midfield for Hillsboro. Oh, here's a chance for the Raiders. A good one. Good. Nice defense there by Stefanik. She's had a nice game for Central. Oh, there's a shot, and in front, a goal for Hillsborough. You sort of got the feeling that was almost bound to happen, Frank. A lot of pressure there by the Raiders. Yes, yeah, Stefanik stopped the one that looked like it was going to be a goal, but ultimately wasn't enough. They were able to get an even better opportunity to make it 3-0 with 2.18 left. And, and if the train hadn't already left the station, it's pulling out now 3-0 in favor of the Raiders now with just over two minutes to go. They're not slowing down either. They would like no, another one. No, absolutely. Hillsborough with a sense of urgency right in front. Absolutely. Hillsborough uh, playing very much with a sense of urgency, applying a lot of pressure here. I'll put it into play with a minute and 40 seconds to go. In front. So just one minute and 20 seconds left in this game. Central on the short end of a 3-0 lead. See if they can get one last threat here. In this fourth quarter, they really haven't had any chances. They've been on defense for the majority of the time, which even before that goal down 2 nothing. Maybe a little yeah. spurt at the 10-minute mark. Yeah. Uh, and that was about it. It's been quite a while. This last few minutes have all been in the central zone, and that's where we are right now. And we're going to have another corner as we are now down to 30 seconds and counting. So not what Central was expecting tonight on senior night. You hope you can uh, ring that 
emotional night for the families with a victory. But up against it, a, a real sound Hillsborough team. Certainly outplayed Central in just about every facet of the game tonight. And we are going to finish this one at three to nothing here at Stewart Field. And that is all she wrote tonight, Frank. Any final thoughts on this one? Uh, yeah, I got to give the, the Central defense some credit. They lost three nothing, but they really held their own. They were mostly... Uh, being attacked for basically the entire game. 20 shots on goal, only letting up three, and one of them was a late one there. They played well. The Hillsborough defense also played very good, only letting up three shots, and three shots is not going to not gonna win you a game. So, Yep, a, a heartwarming night in a lot of ways. The six seniors honored with their parents, a nice tribute to Lex Karpansky. But on the field, the Red Devils come up short. They fall 3-0 to the Hillsborough Raiders. Please join us tomorrow night on the HCTV live stream as the Central Boys Soccer Team back in action. They will face Wachung Hills here tomorrow night and the stream will start at 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock tomorrow night? 6 o'clock here at Stewart Field. Join us then. For my partner Frank Pichota, I'm Jim Johnson saying good night and enjoy the rest of your beautiful fall evening.